gonna mug me. I'm not gonna mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. The pressure to be the perfect parent has put children at the centre of our universe. Me and Halle have both got our matching bikinis on. Look at it, Lace. I've got the sparkles on there for you. My addiction, my life is my children. Rich or poor, we're spending millions blinging up our babies. Isn't this pretty? <laughs> Say Gucci! Say Gucci! A new breed of mini-me's, where children are pampered, preened and spruced to perfection. She loves dressing up, she loves the nails done, you know, she loves, she loves the tan. Is it nature or nurture and good parenting? Well, look at you! Do you think Mummy looks better with or without makeup? With makeup. Oh, I know. Or are we spoiling our kids rotten? I don't care. If you don't like it, don't look. <laughs> Plymouth, 34-year-old single mum Lisa Marie Whitcomb has three children, siblings Daniel and Lacey and Emily from her most recent relationship. Lisa likes to dress three-month-old Emily in the best money can buy. Well, Emily's just become vocal and found her voice and the, her first word will be Chanel. <laughs> first word would be Chanel or will it be Dior? It'd probably be Primark or something like that. <laughs> I went a bit over the top when I was pregnant with her. She was very spoilt, wasn't she? Part-time community care worker Lisa Marie spends over £100 a week on Emily's clothes. Nurturing her girls to look particularly feminine is top priority. I don't ever, ever like to be photographed in anything more than once. And by being that way, you are teaching your little girls to, to be that way also. It's about presenting yourself well. It's about teaching your girls to be girls, and I think uh, nowadays uh, there's too many girls out there that actually forget to be feminine and ladylike, and I think that's all it's about. You know, a bit of pink lipstick, a bit of glitter, a bit of jewels, a bit of glamour. You know, you're women, you're girls. Come on, stop dressing down and in tracksuits and things. I can't stand that look. I really, really, really love Marilyn Monroe, and actually Marilyn Monroe was one of the first models, supermodels, to to head a um, advertising campaign for Chanel and I think probably from a young age because I've loved Marilyn Monroe for so long I think that is actually probably where it comes from and let's face it what girl doesn't what girl doesn't like their Chanel perfume Chanel yeah Chanel yeah can mummy sell your dresses they've hardly been worn look this this was obviously handmade that's only been worn for all but 10 minutes what I put on my girls may not be everyone's cup of tea, but my money, my addiction, my, my life is my children and, 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 and what goes on it. If you haven't got the money, you can't have it, but if they do a payment plan, yeah, you can. <laughs> Lisa Marie's five-year-old daughter, Lacey, has already caught the bug for bling. Well, once you've painted your nails, you put these on if it's really sunny and you wear them, these middle bits of them will glow in the sun. Do you like wearing your sparkles, do you? Do you like wearing your sparkly jewellery with your sparkly nails? Mum Lisa Marie wants her daughter to stand out at her birthday party, and money's no object. What shoes would you wear with this dress? These two. Would you? Uh, do you not think Mummy needs to buy you a new pair? Uh, no, because these are new enough. But they're two different pinks. Mummy thinks I should buy you a new pair. Do you want a new pair? That would be better. If you look well and you smell well, you act well, don't you? Do you think? I like pretty like glitzy. Like I think bling can be it's, it's quite a harsh sounding word, whereas I like quite girly and glitz and glamour. That's what I like. It's Lacey's sixth birthday, and Lisa Marie is bang on trend, hosting a pamper party for nine teenagers, setting her back more than £800. Well, we've just got everyone here ready for um, their nails to be done. Four-year-old brother Daniel's been roped into being one of the girls for the day, and it's all too much for baby Emily. 
Lisa Marie has spent £50 on a one-off dress for the party. Lacey's chance to light up the room. Well, this is a dress that we had made for Lacey. It was meant to come with lights, but I had to do that myself. Hopefully we won't blow up or electrocute anyone. At £400, this Swarovski-encrusted Audi is a stretch for strapped-for-cash mum Lisa Marie. But these Hot Wheels are a must-have. She's been whinging for a while now. Why can't she have a car like this? Her friends have got one. So I thought, you know, I'll get her one and just do that little extra bit for her and put a few gems and sparkles on it for her, make it a little bit more girly. Come on, Lace, let's come in here. Look, let's put this on you. Look at it, Lace. You excited to be putting it on? Yeah, is it my dress? Mmm, might be. Woo! <laughs> look at that! Oh my God, look at it, Lace. I've got the sparkles on there for you. Drive, drive. We should have put L plates on it. <laughs> In a village outside Cambridge, stay-at-home mum Candy Donaldson is also bringing up her two children, Harley and Frankie, on her own. How do you like it? Curly. Really curly? Yeah. Snickers the pug also likes to get in on the act. Sit down. No, mummy. Snickers, sit there. Stay. Six-year-old Frankie has already been nurtured in the skills of grooming by the best teacher, mum. What six-year-old can do their own nails? Her lipstick's perfect if she puts lipstick on. Her mascara's perfect if she puts mascara on. Because she watches me and I'm always doing my nails or I've got my eyelashes on. And then she does her cuticles as well. But, you know, most people would frown upon me letting her do that because, obviously, it's like a super glue. It is dangerous. But she's so used to doing it that you can let her do it by herself. Candy also pays meticulous attention to Frankie's wardrobe. On single parent income, she has to be imaginative. Since she was a newborn, I've always dressed her up in tutus or anything pretty, really frilly. Has to be really frilly and over the top. Massive pet hate. Scuffs on shoes, snotty noses, knotty hair. <laughs> just like, yeah, just scruffy kids. Can't bear it. Perfectionist Candy always has a backup plan. See here, two of the same dress. If one gets dirty, she's got she's got a separate. Sometimes we take both of them out. If we go out for dinner, she gets dinner down this one. We go to the toilet and we'll change into the other one. She's not allowed to go near mud or anything like that. No, jumpy. Or jump, are you? So we make sure that she's always very clean. No jumping in the muddy puddles. You're not allowed to jump in the muddy puddles, Frankie, yeah, are you really? Yeah. Not with new trainers. Three-year-old Harley is also seeing double in his wardrobe. Two of these, two of these. <coughs> he has, like, you see, two, two of the Havanas there. We buy, like, duplicate of the white ones, because, like I say, I don't like them getting any marks on their trainers. When it comes to boys, there's less frills. It's harder to dress boys up. Harley's very, it's like an old man sort of look. He like, it is the braces, some dicky bows. We prefer the flat cap. So he looks like a little old man, but a cool little old man. I think some mums wouldn't want to dress their children too over the top, you know, because they might think, gosh, bit, that is a bit too much. But I actually like it when people say that. That, that to me, that's, I've got what I, that's what I wanted to do. I want the mums to go, oh my gosh, you know, wow. <laughs> Just looking for, to get Frankie dressed, so I'm going to take her to the park. Mum, mm -hmm. how about those tiger leggings and that tiger top? Because then I can take them off. Yeah. When I get hot. Yeah. Can I just wear those? No. You can't because it doesn't go. Mum, mm -hmm. that's not quite good there. <laughs> Appearance is very important to me. If we went out and someone saw her looking, you know, not up to sweet, I'd, I'd hate it. That would be mortify me. It only took us an hour to get ready to go to the park. Right, kids, are you ready? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Banned from getting dirty, an ordinary trip to the park can be a nerve-wracking event. For Frankie, being girly sometimes goes against the grain. She, do you know, she is a bit of a tomboy, Frankie is, but, um... I don't know, I'm trying to make her not to be. <laughs> Frankie actually wants to be a policewoman when she's older. 
I don't know how she's going to deal with that, having to wear a dowdy uniform, knowing that she can't dress up like she does. Frankie, please mind your trainers. Uh, her trainers are dead. <laughs> oh, Frankie, you've done the backs of them as well. Turn around. Oh, Frankie. Oh, don't, I am cross myself. Frankie, take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Right, Frankie, let's have... Frankie, come on. Frankie. I think she's trying to get dirty on purpose. When I was younger, if you didn't have the best pair of trainers and stuff, people would take the mickey out of you. But if you are going to dress your kids scruffy or not in the latest stuff, you've got to expect them to be bullied. Holly! Oh, gosh. Candy isn't the only mum that thinks a bit of bling goes a long way to protecting her kids. Putting her in these dresses, I think that's going to make her a strong person. And girls can be so horrible, can't they? Little girls can be so bitchy. In today's Britain, little says more about who we are than how we bring up our kids. In Doncaster, 26-year-old single mum Sammy Bushell lives with her four-year-old son Harry and daughter Hallie Mae, who's now two. Sammy believes it's second nature to dress up her little girl in big dresses, and like lots of toddlers, she has her own fixation. Shoes. And she gets up with the shoes. Shoes. Right, come here then, let me put them on you. Shoes. Found out I was having a girl that I was like, oh, crystals, diamonds, bling, wow, I can do it. And I got all excited and I ordered it all. <laughs> Hallie, come and get this dress on, please. She's got her shoes on now, she wants to run off. She, she's quite a wild one. Sammy left a troubled home when she was young to move in with her nan. She's determined that Hallie will get a better start. Putting her in these dresses, these statement dresses every day, I think that's going to make her a strong person. I'm not just keeping her hid at home. I'm, I'm letting her out in the world. I'm showing her off to the world. And she's getting more confidence every day. I like putting Hallie in this dress. Just to nip into the town or go to the Asda or we're just going on school run. And this is quite a big full on dress. <laughs> Come here. I'd want Hallie to look the same standard as me. Yeah, sometimes she might look better than me because her dress is more extravagant. Obviously, I can't do matching dresses with Hallie because I'd look stupid in a big tutu <laughs> walking down the street. <laughs> Separated from the children's dad two years ago and having recently left her beautician's job, Sammy is trying to curb her spending. I'm picking up three pairs of socks, a headband, a dress, a cardigan and a bonnet, um, a woolly bonnet. And to be honest, I can't remember how much I've put down on it. You don't want to pay out that amount of money in one day. You don't have to. You can pay a bit at a time. And every time I come, I add and I add and I add. So it gets quite pricey. Oh wow. Well, oh, wow. they're blingy. <laughs> they're lovely. Oh wow. Wow, Liz, you've outdone yourself. They are amazing. These have got double frills as well, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, both double frills. Double they legs look legs. nicer with the double frills, they don't do, they? They do, don't they? They're more luxury. Yeah. yeah. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. I was in the bath the other day and I found diamantes in the bath. Did you? They're just <laughs> everywhere in the house. <laughs> I'm even bathing with them now. <laughs> just a bit of sparkle in the morning or the, the evening. <laughs> Your outstanding bill to pay today, darling, is £32. I hope that wasn't too painful for you. No. <laughs> Just got a few more shops to go and then I'll be broke. <laughs> bye bye. bye. See bye. you bye. later. Bye. When you've had the royal family and you've had William and Harry and, and the new children that's come along and they, and they suit all this sort of thing, so you've got a lot of the younger age group now that's going on to that and I think it's probably the royal family that's promoted that and that's another feedback that you get from people because they'll stand here and say, oh, Harry had that or William had that or don't they? And it, yeah. I'd like to look at some earrings, please. Sammy pierced Hallie's ears when she was 14 months old, and now there's no holding back. So you have got your CZ with the crystals round there, and they're in a rose gold finish, but they are all real silver. She has little lobes, and I'm wondering if these are a little 
big for the size of her lobe. We do do a smaller one. Yeah. But you like the bigger one. That's fine. Mum knows best. Well, I like to think <laughs> I do. I can't wait to get them in there. I want to put them in now. Operation Big Blingy Earrings isn't as easy as she thought. <laughs> Look at your ears, they're beautiful. Oh, Mum's going to get some stick for that. <laughs> Whilst Hallie might be too young to appreciate the cost of bling, for single mum candy, keeping her children happy comes at a high price. Every week I go shopping and just collect little bits and give them a parcel of presents each week for when they come back from school. Just sort of walk them in, I like to see their faces, so, you know, just come and look at their piles. This is like, she'll love this. So, I love this. <laughs> Although she's got like 20 of these already. Me and their dad, we split up a couple of years ago. So I try and, you know, make up for that. And um, yeah, just, I want to make sure they have everything that they've, everything that they want. So. That means spoiling them, so be it. <laughs> Come on then, let's go and get your presents. Have a look. Do you like them? Are you going to have a look? Makeup, look. Look. Let's go. Do you like that? Yeah. What about this? No, you can't nick mummy's makeup. Mm, Harley, you got some new slippers and a book. What do you say? What, what do you say, Frankie? Frankie. Frankie, what do you say? Because she, because she gets it every week. She's just not even phased by this. Are you happy with yourself or not? You're not. Why? You're never happy, Frankie, are you? Are you happy, Harley? Yeah? You're happy, happy, boy. It's hard work pleasing Frankie. It's hard work. Frankie, do you want to get to the table? I have to be careful with money. And, you know, yeah, I do have family members that help me out. Like, especially my dad, he sees sometimes that it is hard. He spoils me and he spoils these two rotten. They're great, Nan and Grandad spoil them. They'll send me, like, you know, hundreds, two hundred pounds a month. Growing up, I, I always used to have everything, you know, everything that I wanted. I was very much a daddy's girl. I know if I wanted anything, absolutely anything, I could have, it. He'd, you know, he'd do his best. To, to get it for me, same as like I would for Frankie. Hi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In Plymouth, single mum of two, Lisa Marie, wants her six-year-old daughter Lacey to follow in her own glamorous footsteps. There's not a lot of clothes on there, no, there really isn't. But that's glamour modelling, isn't it? That's what glamour models do. I'm really proud of the fact that I made it into Nuts and Zoo magazine. I know a lot of people have their opinions on glamour models, but to be honest with you, each to their own. And, you know, I didn't see any of you in Nuts. <laughs> I was bullied at school. I did have red ginger hair. It wasn't any ginger, but it was what I call shrubby blonde. I think it did affect me to the extent where, as soon as I was old enough, I did get the hair extensions in, I did get the boobs done, I did, you know, acrylic nails, makeup, the, you know, the outfits, making sure I presented and put outfits together well. Lacey, she has said so many times that she would love to do what mummy does. People do ask me, would I, you know, what would I say, what would I think if Lacey was to do glamour modelling? As long as she's happy, as long as she's earning good money, 
go lacy, you know. I think she'd make a good model, I really do. And I don't think that's just me being biased. I think my daughter's gorgeous, obviously. <laughs> How about if I do it on your little toe? <laughs> and to keep her looking gorgeous, Mum's passing on a few tricks of the trade. It's a girly night in. Yeah. yeah. That's it, just get the sharp bits off lace. Why do you think that it's important that women need to wear makeup? Why? Yeah. Because I think most women look a little bit better, if not a lot better, with makeup on. Do you think Mummy looks better with or without makeup? With makeup. Oh, I know. I think most women look better with a bit of makeup. I think that's really important because they, women like it. Yeah. I, and children like it as well because children like being blinged up. You want a face mask or a manicure? What do you want? Oh, just diamonds. Candy is also having some girly time for her and Frankie. She's taking her for a spray tan and hopes that this time she'll get a glowing reaction. Are you looking forward to having your spray tan, friends? Are you? You're only having a light one though, aren't you? You, t you can't have a dark one, Frankie. A light one, OK? No! Frankie, what colour do you... How, what do you want it like? A bit brown and a bit white. You want it brown and white? Right. Ready? Ready. Because otherwise your hair will go orange. You look like an umba lumba. Yay! That's it. Perfect. Right, wait till Sue puts the pads down. I have the darkest, darkest colour, don't I? Candy looks like she's been to the Caribbean for about a week when we're finished. <laughs> Can you do it nice and wide for me? Like a big star. Brilliant! Thumbs up. Brilliant. Ready? Nice. Good girl. How's that? Spray tan, you know, if we're going for a party or anything like that, because I like to have a bit of colour in her face. Um, you know, especially on a Friday, she's been to school all day and she's quite pale, you know, so it just freshens her up for the weekends. Oh, Woo! Mommy, look at me! Wow! Brilliant! That looks wonderful! High fives! Good girl! <laughs> and that one back on there. That's it. If I do take her out, she is dressed to impress. You know, she has to look the best. Same as Harley. Um, yeah. So but it's not your choice either, it's, 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 what, it's what she wants to she wear. She wants to, yeah, she loves it. She loves dressing up, she loves the nails done, you know, she loves she loves the tan. We both enjoy doing it, so it's time where we just bond and we just, you know, like mums and daughters do. Colour, is that good? Are you happy with it? Yeah, perfect. High fives for me. Yeah! And in Plymouth, it's a family affair as Lisa Marie discovers that bling is in the blood. Oh, look at his little bonnet. Oh, he's got his little tights in that on, look. And Sammy reveals the real reason why bling takes over her life. The way I dress my children distracts me from what's happening in real life. It pulls me into, like, this little fantasy world. <laughs> In Doncaster, as well as blinging up Hallie, Sammy goes the extra mile with her son. Hello. What's your name? Hallie. She does her best to make sure Harry compliments his sister. They're not the same brand, but they near enough match quite good. And when they wear that together, they look absolutely amazing. There's only so much you can do with a boy. A girl is endless. These were handmade as well. Um, that's the lemon dress. And then this is the matching outfit for them. Me and the children's dad, we always thought from day one we wasn't a very good match. I'm glad that my children have got the same dad. You know, they're, bo they're both to the same person. Um, they, they will always have that bond between them. That You know, they will always have each other. Right, trousers off, please. Come on. Now put your shorts on. He's got a few learning difficulties. He's not your typical five-year-old that you would expect. 
He's quite delayed in a few areas in his learning. I've actually given up work. Turn around, baby. So I can actually support Harry. It's very hard. When he was little, it, he would literally have screaming fits. If it wasn't for my family, my nana mainly, I don't think I would have coped because it was very, a very, very dark moment in my life. Where's he going farm? Is he going on the farm? OK. Yeah. I think well, the way I dress my children just distracts me from what's happening in real life. It pulls me into like this little fantasy world which stops all the worrying about the children, about their future. You OK? <laughs> if I didn't have the bling, I think that they would get to me, you know, all the little problems, little snippets of things that happen in everyday life. And I think it would get on top of me. But with the bling, I do keep going. It does keep me going. It keeps me ticking, ticking over every day. Today, we're taking Emily for our first session at Soft Play with all our little baby friends. Only recently moved to Plymouth, Lisa Marie has discovered a few additions to the family tree. So it's just by chance that I found out literally two weeks ago um, that Louise was my cousin. Um, seen her around, so she had me, like you kind of notice each other's prams, especially when you keep them as done up as what we do. So this is my cousin Louise, my newly found cousin Louise and her little boy Chase. That's well nice this is, isn't it? I love this. Is that the one you just had yeah, made? Yeah, just had that one made. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, look at his little bonnet. Oh, bless him. Oh, he's got his little tights and that on, look. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Lisa Marie grew up in London with her dad and stepmom until her dad left and moved abroad. It was only three years ago that her birth mother and Plymouth made contact. As a child, it was a bit unsettling when I was really little and young. Parents split up and went to live with my dad, so it was quite hard for a little girl to not live with their mum. That was quite hard, but I had a fantastic stepmom who, you know, worked in a beautician shop, so I had all the girliness around me, all the glitz and that from the girls that worked there. I was always having my little nails and that done as well. And I think on a whole, I was a happy little girl. Lisa Marie and her long-lost cousin Louise have only just met, but they have more in common than they thought. <laughs> you don't normally see little boys in bonnets, do you? Yeah, no, I prefer him to wear, like... Babies should be dressed as babies. That's That's traditional. I yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, I'll just mainly get them off the internet, because there's not a lot of stores that actually do sell them in It's a shame, like... isn't it, really? Because yeah. there's a big call for it at the minute, but then saying that, if everyone did have it, it would look so unique. So have you not been doing no modelling like this? Not since I moved to Plymouth. I moved down to Plymouth to catch up with the family, not realising how bloody big the family is. You just bump into them all over the no, place. No, look at you. You go to buy a pram and it turns out that we're related. That is just absolutely yeah. mental. So do you breastfeed, yeah? I've only just given up breastfeeding, yeah. But and you had... But your boobs done? Yeah, I didn't think you could breastfeed when you had you implants, can, can but you? you can, yeah. Because it's if they're under the muscle, you can do it, but if they're over the muscle, then you can't. But who would have their implants? Oh, sorry, it's just skin, then implant. They do, so they look more round. Yeah, but I hate that look. Yeah, when it's really tight. <laughs> really just tight and like boom. tennis balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a lot of redheads in our family, like my mum, Ginger Ninja. <laughs> as soon as I was old enough, I went bleach, acrylics, lashes. Because I was bullied at school, it's quite important to me, especially with Lacey as well. I think where she's a girl, and girls can be so horrible, can't they? Little girls can be so bitchy. Yeah, they can. I just think it's important. I think it's nice the way that you dress them and get, that, that you're willing to give them that confidence for when they're at school. Yeah. Don't want them getting bullied, do we? No. No, I think that's good. Don't do a bit of child slapping. <laughs> <laughs> Will they, though? <laughs> Single mum Sammy is preparing for her first family holiday with new boyfriend Shane in Skegness. She's planned their outfits and she's hoping for warm weather. So me and Halle have both got our matching bikinis on that we're going to wear in Butlins. We've both got pink, they've both got frills and we're going to look absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. 
Two-year-old Hallie May is already a dab hand with the blusher. I know she's playing with makeup, but I really don't mind. It's a bit of blusher, it's a bit of bronzer. I'm not putting foundation on her, I'm not putting mascara in her eyes. You know, she's literally just putting a bit of powder dust on a brush and just brushing it on her face. You know, there's no harm in that, so I don't mind having a little play. I bought this for Christmas, and this is from six month. And it sings a song, and it's telling a child to look good every day. So no one could talk to me and say, oh, you're influencing her at two years old. I'm not, because there's brands out there that influence a child from six months. It's not just Hallie's holiday makeup and bikini she has to organise, it's fitting her clothes in the one suitcase. All of Hallie's holiday wardrobe is actually new. What you got? Are you wearing your hat? My sexy lady. Hat. We're actually only going away for four days. I feel like I'm going away for a month. I just hope I've got everything. <laughs> I wonder what else I can get in. <laughs> Lacey is eager to follow in her mum's footsteps and at 80 pounds a pop, Lisa Marie has brought her daughter for some training at a model agency. If Lacey impresses Danielle with her catwalk skills, she could get on their books. I do really want her to get into something like this. This is what this is the you know ultimate. That's what I wanted her to do. Come on, because you need to concentrate now, Lacey. Okay, let's go. Look up, place. Make sure you look up. Look up. Try again, do all that, but make sure you smile. smile. That's it. Look up, look up. Lovely. That was really good. Well done. What was that, Mum? That was a... Well done. Can we get now? Oh, bless her. Do you think it went all right? She's definitely got potential. Really? Yeah. You're not just saying that. You no. really think she's got no, potential? I honestly think that she's yeah. got potential. I definitely will, will be having a chat with um, Sarah Stars about um, Lacey. Mm. For you, I would also probably put her in pageants as well because she's got that kind of potential. As soon as she put on her big tutu dress with the sparkles and that, the, the, the little girl smile came out and the posture started changing, so it was all hands on this. I think it just pro proves my point that every little girl likes to have that and it does change their whole domain, the way they are. It changes them. In Cambridge, Candy also believes her daughter Frankie has star quality. She shops online from a boutique in Leeds and they're eager to get Frankie to model their collection. I know Frankie's had potential from an early age, but even now, like, all the photos, if I'm taking photos of her where I've dressed her up, like this one, you can tell, like, the way she's standing with her head looking back. She's just a poser. I was very much like Frankie. She's like a mini-me. For Candy, it's the break she's been waiting for. Hi, Olivia, you all right? Thank you. Good. Yeah. yeah, we're good, thank you. <gasps> Frankie, this is going to be so much fun. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. I think she's got, like, eight different outfits to change into. My brothers live local, so I'm going to tell her if she is good and she does, you know, she does this properly for Olivia, then she can go horse riding after this. All the lights are on Frankie, but she's what gone camera shy. Night, night. Why don't you have a look at yourself in this mirror? Do you want to sit on this chair? Come on, Frankie. Come on, remember the sweets. Thanks. Come on. Night, Frankie. Party, if you don't get this done. Uncle Dave has just texted me. He said if you don't behave, you're not going to see Twinkle. Okay, real straight. Put your legs and knees together. That's it. That's it. That's nice. Good girl. Can you look right down my lens? Right, it's a bit scared of them. Look at me. Yeah. Like that to the side, babe. See, that's it. That's it. This is what we want. Yes, right. Oh, Frankie, you're doing well. Thanks. 
Come on. So we're getting closer to seeing them ponies. Okay, smile. Are you being a diva again, Frankie? Funny bears, Remember those sweets? Right, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want any sweets. Oh, one. Don't let me down. Oh, well. Oh, let me down. Oh. If you do, then we won't tell you. Last one, I want you to give it your best one yet. <laughs> best one yet, and then we get a present on the way home. I'm going to buy you a dress. Okay. I want to see. You can visit. We've got to hurry up, otherwise you, you've got to do this. Quick, let's, get let's do it. Really, really quick. Frankie's first day on the job has been a long one, but Mum Candy's pleased. Very proud, Mum. I'm really, really proud of her. I could actually cry. <laughs> Not many children get this opportunity. You have some mums pushing their children to do things like this, but I haven't had to with Frankie. In Skegness, Sammy seizes the opportunity to bling her boyfriend's 12-year-old daughter. Look at Daniela's belly. She's got a hole in it at the minute. And ex-glamour model Lisa Marie gets baby Emily her first taste of stardom. I'm out of my depth when it comes to pageants. I don't know what I'm doing. Sammy's house in Doncaster, there's holiday excitement in the air. Maybe I should have had two simple, small suitcases for me and the kids. <laughs> New boyfriend Shane and his family are joining Sammy on their trip to Skegness, but Shane won't join in with the dress code. I do, like, try and influence him. I'll be like, oh, please wear a shirt. Oh, please wear a shirt. Oh, please put your T-shirt in. And he'll be like, no, I don't want to. And I'm like, why? You look like a scrubber. <laughs> After a two-hour drive to Skegness, the families head straight for the seafront, with Shane's 12-year-old twins, Dean and Daniela, in tow. It's not quite bikini weather, but it doesn't stop Sammy from showing off Hallie's frills. Oh, look at you! Hello! A ride! Woo! <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming! <laughs> this is our first holiday away. Um, it's going all right so far. So far. <laughs> For Sammy, this holiday is more than a breath of fresh air. Oh, it's really nice being all together. Yeah. More to come in the future, hopefully. If Shane puts up with me. <laughs> Our first seafront kiss. Yeah. <laughs> but more important than romance, a new blinging opportunity. I'm really excited with you. I you like this new little project that I can have. Yeah. I love the idea of getting your belly butt pierced, so. We're like little twins, so I've got mine done. And we can like jingle together, bling. <laughs> and I'll take her to go and get her belly button done today. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Finally, after getting the go-ahead from Dad and a quick check-in with Mum, Sammy gets her big chance to bling a new belly. In and out. <laughs> Look at Daniela's belly. She's got a hole in it at the minute. She's got to put the ball on. Put the ball on the top now. Oh, it looks lovely. It's really nice. Come on, babe. Well, it's all right, isn't it? We can go and get like, like loads and loads of blingy bars, <laughs> like twisty ones, dangly ones, full with crystals, like swans and ducks. Dolphins. Dolphins, they all dangly bits. <laughs> <laughs> Former glamour model Lisa Marie has taken advice from Lacey's catwalk tutor and entered her in her first beauty pageant, all the way up in Liverpool. But Lisa can't resist the temptation to put baby Emily in the under two category. At three months old, she's the youngest contestant. Some absolutely stunning outfits here, full on glitz and bling. Nervous, nervous for the girls. All we can do is see what happens. <laughs> Emily's ready to rumble. Lisa Marie's hoping that this could launch her daughter's modelling careers, and practice makes perfect. Well done. Lacey's just smudged all her makeup. 
I won't do it again. Lacey's outfit does stand out a bit to the other girls, I think. It's not, I don't know what pageant style is, but it's not pageant style. Pageant dress or not, Lacey is taking it all in her stride. Which is more than can be said for nervous mum. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Like I've said before, I'm out of my depth when it comes to pageants. I don't know what I'm doing. But before she throws the towel in, it's Emily's turn to take centre stage. Contestant number 84. Quick, backstage. We've started. Oh. It's your first. Sorry, it's baby, yeah? <laughs> oh. Number 84, yeah? Yeah. What do I have to do? I've no, never done it first. before. Oh, right, it's OK. I'll guide you through it. What, you, what, what I've got to talk on stage? You don't have to talk on stage, all right? Oh, oh we haven't got one of our numbers because they run out. Right. She, yeah, she's That's great right. for, it's fine. fine. No, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, so I just played it by ear. But um, not really hard, is it, to carry your baby on stage and show her dress off? I do it every day of my life, just in town. The big moment of the day has arrived, and the results are in. She must have come second. Can't believe it. Actually, can't believe it. My little baldy Lulu, she's come second. Do you know what? I'm actually just going to let her wear this, like, forever feel really proud of her, really proud. Look at her. Three months old and she's just come second in her first beauty pageant. <laughs> My little beauty. I've got to put her down now, like she's a chunk. The second princess goes to Lacey. And there's a crown for Lacey too. That's amazing, isn't it? Both you and your sister have done so well. But for brother Daniel, it's been a very long and boring day. Look how big she won. I don't want to Want to put it on? No. Come here, because we're going home now. Not so sure I'll put Emily into another one, because it's a bit, you know, a bit much for, oh, I don't know, though. I'll say no now, but I probably will. Winners all round. And perhaps the start of a new life in the spotlight. Did you have a good time today? Yeah. It's good, wasn't it? Yeah. Next time. Thwarted ambition breeds expensive yeah. tastes. My kids are my biggest achievement today, but I want to make sure that they do better than I did in life. Say Gucci. Good girl. And living life through your kids leads to ultimate sacrifice. If I had to starve myself to buy her bling, probably would do it. 